Hi everyone, so today let us talk about kidney. Nephron is the basic functional unit of kidney. Okay, so now let us label kidney. This part is known as cortex. While this part is known as medulla. And lastly, this part is known as rena, vein, or rena artery. Okay, so what does kidney do? Kidney does osmoregulation of the blood osmotic pressure what does it mean it means that it will control the concentration of water and mineral in the blood kidney is also an excretory organ for example it um, does excretion of the excretory substances such as urea by forming urine okay so now let's look more detail about kidney kidney is divided into two parts one is cortex one in medulla cortex is the outer part of the kidney so this is known as cortex while this is known as medulla okay so now let us label about kidney this is known as afferent arterial while this is known as efferent arterial this this part this circle part is known as glomerulus while this part is known as proximal convoluted tubule this part is known as Bowman's capsule. Well, this part is known as loop of Henley, and this part is known as distal convoluted tubule here is proximal while here is distal okay and lastly this part is known as collecting down Urine synthesis occurs through three stages. One is ultrafusion, while the other one is reabsorption, and the lastly, the one is the um, secretion. So now let's talk about ultrafusion first. As you can see, afferent arterial has a larger lumen compared to the efferent arterial. Therefore, more blood will flow into the glomerulus compared to the efferent arterial it means that the rate of blood flow into the glomerulus is higher than the rate of blood flow out um, to the efferent arterial therefore um, it will create a pressure when the differences create a pressure it will push just those um, bloods um, into the Boltzmann capsule So at this part, 
ultra filtration occur ultra filtration occur at this part when the blood is being pushed into the Boltzmann capsule okay the filtrate in the Boltzmann capsule has almost same contain with the blood in the glomerulus except it does not have platelets red blood cell and plasma protein this is because um, glomerulus is only one cell thick and red blood cell, platelets, plasma protein are all large size protein therefore they cannot um, be transferred into the Bowman's capsule therefore this filtrate does, the filtrate in the Bowman capsule does not have um, those large size proteins then the filtrate in the Boltzmann capsule is then flew into the proximal convoluted tubule. Okay, hundred percent of the glucose and amino acids are reabsorbed actively and passively into the blood in capillary. Because we don't want urine has glucose or amino acids. If the urine has glucose, it means that the people has hyperglycemia, means diabetes mellitus. Okay, therefore, um, for normal people, hundred percent glucose and amino acids need to be reabsorbed at proximal convoluted tubules into the blood. Okay. However, those excretory substance like Urea are not reabsorbed in um at proximal colonic tubule because we need to be we need to excrete urea out of our body in the form of urine. Then the filtrate will flow into the loop into loop of Henley. So what does loop of Henley do? Loop of Henley does reabsorption of water. Um, for those animals which live in deserts. They have longer loop of Henley because they need to reabsorb more water into the body to prevent the die of thirst. Okay. So at this part, the process is known as reabsorption. Okay. Then the filtrate will then flow into the distal convoluted tubule. Okay. When they flow into the distal convoluted tubule. Secretion process start to occur. Okay, the excretory substance such as urea will be actively transported from the blood into the filtrate. Just now we transported glucose and amino acids out into the blood, but now we transported urea into the filtrate because we need to excrete out the urea. Okay, the filtrate will then flow, 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 flow flow into here it will then flow into the collecting duct so at this part the excretory substance has some urea and water because we don't want the, uh, our urea has too much of water so at this part reabsorption of some water will be done okay lastly it will be transported into pelvis and to be excreted it out in the form of urine so that's all for excretion 